Hello, this is a brief video on how to get started in tenor clef. You'll need to practice a lot of different things in tenor clef till you read it fluently, but this will help you figure out how to start. So tenor clef is used for higher notes so that we don't have to write so many ledger lines with notes up above the staff. Therefore, we're not gonna really look at the low strings at all. It's usually used on the A string and a little bit on the D string. Tenor clef is one fifth higher than bass clef. And what that means is because your cello is tuned in fifths, the easiest way to start reading tenor clef is just to go up one string. So we're gonna look at some examples. Here in example number one, you'll see the open strings in bass clef on the bottom line. And if you look at the top line, you'll see those exact same notes, it seems like, but these are in tenor clef. So instead of playing a C on that first note, I know it looks like a C, but in tenor clef, that's actually a G. And so you can see the notes are stacked so that the bass clef notes that are the same as those tenor clef notes are down below. So the first note you're thinking, C string, nope, I go up one string. Second note, I go up one string. Third note looks like a D, so I'm going to play up on my A string. And you don't have a string to play higher on the A. So for that note, you're gonna to go to fourth position with your thumb in the curve of the neck, put your first finger on top of the thumb on the A string, and that's E. And E, I think, is the first note that you wanna to try to learn in tenor clef. It looks like an open A string in bass clef, but when it's got that tenor clef sign on it, you're gonna play it right there in fourth position on the A string. Let's look at another example. So this example shows you, again, on the bottom, the bass clef, on the top, the tenor. If I look just at the tenor line, that looks like a D, and I think, nope, up a string, that must be A, and this is a first finger, and a set, it would be second finger on the D string, but I'm gonna play it on the A string. This looks like fourth finger on the D, I'm gonna play it on the A. And here's our E that we just played. So that's the shift up to fourth position. Here's one more example. Here we are with the notes that look higher on the cello. So in other words, you can see in the bass clef when I play notes that are fourth position and above. This A is the harmonic A. You can see that in the bass clef, I've got lots of ledger lines. And in the tenor clef, and there's one ledger line, but it's a little bit easier to read because there are not so many extra lines up above the staff. So these are the most important notes that you're gonna wanna learn in tenor clef. E, F sharp, G, and then the harmonic A, which is very important. Tenor clef is written going higher than that, but this is a good place to start to try to work out some of the bugs in reading tenor clef. Good luck.